Good morning, it's Audrey here. Uh, today I'm going to talk briefly about annual performance reviews. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point about it because I don't have any grey area feelings about it. I feel quite strongly that for me an annual performance review is of little to no value. Um, you need to be meeting with your people at least quarterly, if not monthly. I think quarterly is suffice, but I don't see the value in meeting with somebody one time a year and telling them that they did great 12 months ago or no, you didn't do so great 12 months ago. Because if it's a good employee um, and you're not telling them regularly or not developing them, you've probably lost them by the time the annual review comes around. And if they're not performing, um, there is little point in, in telling them what they did wrong in January 2020 and what they did wrong back in January 2019. Um, because your farm has been underperforming since then and you haven't done anything really about it. So I would say that you need to be meeting with people quarterly, at least quarterly, if not monthly. I think quarterly is suffice if you have a good, robust quarterly review system. So when you're sitting down, over Christmas quite often people will get prepared for next year and they'll say I need to sit down and do my annual reviews. I would say don't invest time in an annual reviews. Invest, do invest the time but in, in putting together a structure how you're going to review some of these performance on a quarterly basis. I've done videos on it, they're all up already but it's the simple things like setting out key performance indicators. I would be doing that in the first week of January with the team um, if you haven't done it already. We've done ours last week. Um, setting out what you want to achieve in spring 2020. So invest the time in, in coming up with what you're going to review on a quarterly basis or a template that you'd like to use on a quarterly basis. And I would like to say thank you for watching these videos and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a prosperous 2020. Thank you.